Jesus I do not spare my friends, it is true. If you are my friend, you will know suffering. Through your sufferings, you will know me. I will visit you with grief perhaps. I may visit you with hardships and trying situations. Perhaps you will know me in sickness or emotional difficulties. If you are my friend, you will know suffering. So why do I do this? Why do I allow my dear servants pain and suffering when truly I am the all-powerful God who can literally abduct the wind if I choose? My dearest little slaves, I am the king, but my kingdom is not of this world. This world belongs to me, of course, and I am ultimately in control of it, as you will see in your future. But you would not give an infant a book on the divinity of Christ. It would be meaningless to that infant. First, you must teach that infant to read. Before that, you must nurture the infant with physical nourishment and a great deal of love. Only then will the infant become predisposed to cooperate with the learning process that must occur to learn to read. There is indeed a great deal that must occur before a subject of my kingdom can study the divinity of Christ. Let me give you another example. The infant, as he is learning to walk, often looks up to his mother and says, Carry me. Often you will hear a mother say, No, my little one. I prefer that you walk. Could the mother lift the child into her arms? Of course she could. What reason could a mother have for allowing her child to walk? Is the case not often that the wise mother wishes her child to learn to walk properly, and then to run? To do so, this mother understands that her child needs to exercise the muscles needed to complete these acts. Well I am like the wise mother. I understand that in order for my friends to experience divinity and the life of the divine to the fullest, they must learn by exercising their spiritual muscles. The more you do so, the more you will experience in heaven. You are not competing with each other. You are learning to love me. You are each created to love me in a different way and those lessons are learned each day in your trials and challenges. Like the wise mother, I do not leave you toddling along by yourself when you are unsteady. I will never leave you. But you must learn. Do not begrudge me your sufferings, little souls. You cannot begin to imagine their value. End of message.